Welcome to Policy on Demand's Week in Review. I'm Pat Brown. What would you tell clients are your takeaways from this week? Well, so we're at the end of another congressional work period, one of the longest of 2024, coming into the Memorial Day recess with still no significant progress or change in trajectory on the tax extenders legislation. So we really have to acknowledge that any path forward for that legislation is really gonna be quite challenging. But that doesn't mean there haven't been developments in Washington this week. So we saw the House Ways and Means Committee, which has formed these tax teams in preparation for 2025, announce a process for providing input and submitting comments to those teams. Over on the Senate side, Chairman Wyden continues his focus on the pharmaceutical industry and and particularly the international tax profile of of U.S. pharmaceutical companies, this week releasing a letter that he had sent to the CEO of a major U.S. pharmaceutical company. Secretary Yellen over at the Treasury Department also been active this week announcing somewhat surprisingly that the U.S. opposes a global wealth tax on wealthy individuals. Now, why is this surprising? Because of course, the United States Treasury Department is one of the biggest champions of the minimum tax on large corporations, but they've indicated opposition to a wealth tax, a global wealth tax on wealthy individuals. Which question related to policy did you get asked the most and how did you respond? So this week, a lot of questions have come in about Pillar 1. Now, why Pillar 1? Of course, there's been a lot of speculation that the challenge is to get the United States Senate to adopt the Pillar, to ratify a Pillar 1 convention uh, are very large. And therefore, without United States approval, of course, the Pillar 1 convention can't enter into force. So why Pillar 1? Well, the OECD has indicated that they would like to have finally agreed text and a signing ceremony for the Pillar 1 convention before the end of June 2024. This is, of course, a deadline that's already been extended multiple times. We're now at the end of May, approaching June. So where are we on this process? We still don't have agreed text from the OECD on the Pillar 1 multilateral convention. The question then becomes, if we don't meet this June 30th deadline, what happens next? We know there's been an agreement between the United States and several other countries involving DSTs or digital services taxes. That agreement expires at the end of June. So a lot of questions about, will the OECD have text of a convention by the end of June? Will there be a signing ceremony? And what happens if those deadlines are not met? Where should companies focus their attention in the coming week? So in the coming week, We should be looking potentially for developments in two different areas. One, the Supreme Court is coming to the end of its term and we will be getting decisions on two major cases affecting the tax area. One, the Moore case, of course, which we talked about previously, which really relates to this question of, does the Constitution have have a realization requirement in order for a tax to be considered an income tax? Uh, And so the Moore case has implications for subpart F and guilty, but it also has implications for things like a potential tax on individuals and unrealized gains. So we'll be waiting to see if there's a decision on the Moore case in the coming days. In addition, we may very well see a decision from the Supreme Court soon on a cases implicating the so-called Chevron doctrine, which really relates to how much deference needs to be given to administrative agencies in their rulemaking process. So we don't know the timing of those decisions, but we do know they're expected soon. On the international side, we are expecting guidance from the OECD, additional Pillar 2 guidance from the OECD, dealing with some technical issues, mostly around deferred taxes. We are being told now that guidance is imminent. We can expect that potentially as soon as next week. 